I have taken this question from gate 1997 electronics and communication engineering exam and in this question we are required to find out the voltage V which is the potential difference across this point and this point. Now pause the video and try to solve this question on your own. I hope you are now done and it's time to understand the solution of this question. We are required to find out the voltage V. It is the potential difference across this point and this point. And to find out voltage V, we will apply KVL in this loop. And in this loop, we have one 2 ampere current source, one 2 ohms resistor and one 5 volts voltage source. Let's apply KVL, we will have plus V plus V then we have the voltage across the current source and we very well know that the voltage across the current source is dependent on the network in which it is connected and in this scenario we cannot find out voltage across the current source so let's say the voltage across the current source is V sub 2A then we will have current 2 amperes multiplied to the resistance 2 ohms giving us the potential difference across the resistor and we will have minus because this will be the polarity in the direction of current the potential will decrease due to the resistor therefore we have plus then minus representing that the potential is decreasing in the direction of current when we move through the resistor. So we have 2 multiplied to 2 and then we have minus 5 equal to 0. So this is our equation and we can further write it as V plus V sub 2A minus 4 minus 5 equal to 0. Minus 4 minus 5 is equal to minus 9. So finally we have V plus V sub 2A minus 9 equal to 0. So we have one equation and in this one equation we are having two. We are having two unknowns. Therefore we cannot find out voltage V and hence the answer is option D none of the above. So the most important point in this particular question is to understand that the voltage across the current source is dependent on the network in which it is connected. We can find out the voltage across the current source but here we already have V as unknown and therefore we found that we have two unknowns in our equation and hence we cannot find V and also we cannot find the voltage across the current source. So this is all for this problem. Now we will move on to our homework problem which I have taken from engineering services exam 1995 electrical engineering paper and in this problem the VI relation for the network is given by V equal to 4i minus 9. Now if the resistance R equal to 2 ohms is connected across it, across the network, then the value of current I will be. So you need to find the value of current I. There are four options. Try to solve this problem and once you have your answer, post it in comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.